hi guys welcome back to my youtube channel so today we have a story time okay so in 2022 and the years before 2022 i was staying in pier 14 in port elizabeth now known as Kabecha. so i was staying in that place it was fun it was okay and then i was like okay now it's time for me to grow it's time for me to experience other places or parts of pe and then in 2023 i was like okay i'm moving i am going to stay in summer strength fine i found a commune in in summer strength and i was gonna stay with girls only i was like okay that's cool i mean i love girls so we were staying there everything at the beginning was okay and then okay so mind you in summer strength that time i knew before moving to summer strength i knew only one person that was staying already in summer strength and we were close but not that close okay we were close but not that close so i knew only that person and when i arrived in summer strength or when i moved to summer strength she was not there at that time so i was alone i had no friends and i am someone that has a difficulty when it comes to making new friends so fine i stayed in summer strand i stayed in that commune i was always locked up in my room watching movies you know minding my own business bothering no one i would go to boardwalk buy food you know spa sometimes for water and then that was it and then it got to a point whereby i knew i think it was three girls that i knew because we went to spa with them so i started knowing them but we we're just not close but i knew them and one of the girls was from kzn and i'm from kzn and so we had something in common and we i we liked each other yeah we really liked each other um so fine we i started noticing so one day i started noticing that no man my food there's something wrong with my food because i did not find my cheese in the fridge and it was my cheese at that time and i really really love cheese because at that time i was not i did not eat bologna now i do i don't know what happened yeah but at that time i did not eat um i did not eat poloni i only ate cheese so i would buy lots and lots of cheese because i was eating cheese almost every day if i, if I have bread then you know with cheese so i didn't i noticed that okay my cheese there's something wrong with my cheese my cheese is starting to to be missing i don't know or and at the time i was like okay maybe my meds <laughs> maybe the problem is my meds i'm not counting properly but i was like no man something is off and then i asked someone i'm like girl someone that was staying in that commune girl who can it off man like hi you know and i she said the same thing which no they stole my i think my cheese and my lettuce and my meat i think something like that i was like okay that means we have a problem <laughs> we have a problem we have someone that is stealing our food so this thing continues and we even wrote on our group like guys please stop stealing our food if you do not have food just come to us and help you no one came forward nothing everyone was just complaining everyone was complaining and saying they also lost something in the fridge or in the cabinet wherever so we're like okay that means who's the thief if everyone is complaining about the same thing so time goes by time goes by now it became like a huge inconvenience because we couldn't buy the things that we want i stopped buying cheese because where am i gonna put my cheese you know a lot of things i just stopped buying them because they would get stolen 
fine time goes by we write our exams and then there was this girl that i usually find in the kitchen when i'm going to cook i would find her in the kitchen and we would talk um we would talk every day and i'm still trying to think what made me close to that girl because i would find her in the kitchen and then would have a conversation and then that's it but every day when i'm in the kitchen she would come and then we would talk would have a conversation about a module though that was bothering her she was having a problem i don't remember the module but she was having a problem with a specific module that i had done and passed so she wanted my help yes so we would talk about that module and i would give her study tips and all of that we were close even when i was going to spa we would walk together we started exchanging numbers talking on whatsapp reacting on each other's statuses you know those things you know supporting each other girl power oh my gosh you know those things so we started being close and I, but i didn't consider her as a friend i just saw her as someone that was nice and i was also nice to her you know talking talking but we're not friends but we're close so um i went home during recess i was like okay now it's time for me to go home i went home i left everything and i remember i told myself that i'm not coming to this place because they are stealing my food and i cannot stay in a place whereby i do not eat the things that i want to eat so i was like okay i'm not coming back to this place and there were other reasons that made me to want to move out of that place so during the recess i was um searching for a new place and luckily i found a new place so i knew that when i'm going back to pe the only thing that i'm gonna do is pack my things and leave fine i went back i packed my things and then i left but before leaving i saw that girl that we were close um with and i was like girl i'm going i'm leaving i cannot stay in this place blah 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 and i even we even talked and i was like yo i hope you guys catch the thief the, the person that is stealing our food because what she's doing is not nice and she should just stop and she was like yes she should stop because it's not nice you know we're just talking about the person that is stealing our food mm -hmm. not knowing <laughs> so you know we're just talking about the and we would talk if, even before me deciding to move out of that place we would talk about the thief like what kind of a person it does that to other people you know we talk about that and yeah so i was like okay girl i left I moved out of the place. I left her. I said goodbye, you know, and then I continued with my life and I was staying in in, in humid now. She was still in summer strength, still staying in that commune. We would text each other and then I would ask him, how are you? How How is the thief? Is she still stealing your food? And she would say, no, it's, it's quiet now. And sometimes she would say she has started again. And then it would be like that and time went by we we started not talking much i think because of how hectic life can be sometimes and then i went to one day oh i suck at telling stories so one day i went to to campus south i think it was south campus i was at south and then I bumped to this girl that was staying in in that commune that I left in Summer Strand. The girl that was from KZN. So I bumped. Um, and then we, um, we, we spoke and then she told me that, she, okay, she was like, oh, hi. And then we're like, hello, how are you? I'm well, how are you? And then she was like, come sit down i want to tell you something and i was like what is that and she was like you remember the thief the person that was stealing our food i'm like yes and she was like you remember that we did not know who the person was i'm like yes before 
I moved out. We didn't know who the thief was even after. And she was like, you remember the girl that you were close to? I'm like, yes. And she's like, that's the thief. That's the person that was stealing your food. <laughs> and our food i'm like what i was like what what that girl guys that girl we would sit in the kitchen and we would like think we would think we would go room by room just thinking who the thief might be like searching and just thinking you know possible suspect can't go you girl she was the thief she was stealing our food and she was just lying to me guys when i heard that i was so disappointed and i felt betrayed i'm like girl how could you we were close you even came to my room would speak would chill can't you a thief yeah and then she told me that after you left that girl that you were close to used to post on our group and she and she would say that now that asipe they knew me as asipe she would say uh, now that asipe has left no one is stealing our food which means asipe is the thief and then on whatsapp she would talk to me and then she would say um we haven't found the thief we don't know who the thief is we have no suspects and then on the group she would say something else so yeah and then that girl told me what yeah she would say that on the group and then it and that girl from case and she would defend me because i think she liked me i also liked me as well so she would defend me and be like no asipe i don't think she would do that i don't think she was the thief because she would go to the mall every um not every day but like we would see her going to the mall especially at the end of the month so it's impossible um that it is her who is who was stealing our food so i was shocked i was shocked when that girl told me that i was like never trust a person never ever ever trust a person you could be sitting with someone gandhi they're the ones that they're the ones that are killing you so that's the story of my of the thief basically guys i suck at these things i don't know if it's nice or what 